time on building the X set, I'm going to show you guys Caswell's Black Oxide Concentrate Coating for your nuts and bolts. Okay, so what I've been doing to all the bolts and nuts on my car, mainly the suspension ones, is I wasn't real happy with purchasing a brand new silver or uh, gold colored bolt um, you know, with a, a zinc coating on it. I didn't think it looked good with the gray. So I found this product called, from Caswell called Black Oxide Concentrate. It is a simple dip type procedure, uh, no electrolysis or anything like that involved. Um, basically you mix this one part concentrate to nine parts distilled tap water or distilled water, excuse me, and let it sit for uh, honestly about 10 to 15 minutes they say only a few minutes but uh, 10 to 15 minutes and it will give a nice black finish to all of your nuts and bolts um, what I've been doing to prep the nuts and bolts is basically if I have a a bolt that looks like this uh, this threads obviously very clean but the actual heads very nasty rusty disgusting um, what I will do is I will dip it for about a day in carb cleaner uh, then brush it off, rinse it off to remove, and then the bolt pretty much almost looks like brand new. Uh, once that's done, then basically the next step is I kind of purify it in a, uh, or I guess decontaminate it in a TSP solution uh, boiling on a stove. Uh, two things that does. One, it cleans any residues off the bolt from the TSP, but it also, when you remove the bolt from the boiling water, um, the bolt is so hot that it immediately air dries and so there's no flash rusting or anything like that. Uh, some other things people have tried is, and, and I tried actually too, is wire wheeling, sand blasting. Um, I did try powder coating a couple bolt heads, I just did not like the look of it. <clears throat> as well as um, it tended to get smudged up and scratched up a little bit when, when torquing down the sockets. Not much, but I just didn't like the look mainly. Uh, when I did it with when I did the coating um, over not just a cleaned bolt but a wire wheeled bolt, I had heard the finish was a little more of a shiny black. I didn't find that to be true. Sandblasted, it still just looked too rough. The best thing I found is if the bolt's still in halfway decent condition, is before putting it in the concentrate, just cleaning it off. Um, I think it gave a really nice black, dull to satin finish. Then the last step is after it's uh, put in the black oxide concentrate is to basically just give it a quick rinse in a uh, just basic tap water uh, to rinse any of the, of the concentrate off. Then do a quick dip in, I have just been using, um, I started out using some WD-40, but I actually just started using some used motor oil. Um, actually in this case it was just some empty can, half empty cans of motor oil I had laying around. And dipping it in those basically I found that the uh, motor oil, even after you dry it out, uh, gives a real nice protective layer to the bolt. Uh, not not greasy at all if you dry it off properly, but it does have a nice uh, absorption of the motor oil into the pores and the metal, and uh, should be a good protectant for quite a while. So, anyways, uh, let's get to it. I'll show you kind of the steps I've been going through to apply this and the results I'm getting. So the bolts I'm using in this are front brake caliper bolts. These have been in a uh, carb cleaner dip for about 24 hours and now basically what I do after the carb cleaner dip they, they come very clean uh, I basically just give them a quick scrub down with a um, toothbrush in the sink basically getting rid of the stuff that is still on there uh, the extra carb cleaner and the grit and getting it out of the threads out of the ends of the bolt and everything like that so after this I find that the bolt is I would say a good you know pretty darn close to back to the original look. It's very clean. And these bolts came out looking like this, uh, very gunky. But basically scrubbing them off with toothbrush in the sink after a 24 hour dip in the carb cleaner <clears throat> really seemed to do the trick for getting the bolt as close as I can back to the original condition. Okay, so getting back to my workstation here, you can see uh, the results from the carb cleaner. Very clean bolt, very nice shape. 
So basically what I've been doing is just drying these off. You can use an air compressor. I normally do. I'm just not right now because my daughter's sleeping in the other room. But um, drying these off and just checking the condition. If there is areas that are still worn or still have some debris, sometimes I will just quickly take a pick or a, a red scotch bright, maroon scotch bright, just to scuff up that area um, to remove any more oxidization or, or, or dirt or staining that is on the bolt. Um, for example, this one right here, you can still see there is still a little bit of residue on there. So I'll hit that real quick with a scotch bright just to clean that up before uh, putting it in a t boiling TSP solution. So here's the boiling TSP solution. Uh, this will also be the last time that I will be touching these bolts by hand as I don't want any uh, oils from or greases from my hand to get onto the bolts. So these will get dropped in the pan here and they will boil for oh about I would say 20 to 30 minutes and then I will pick them out of that and let them dry off. Okay, so now the bolts have cooled down. They're done with the TSP uh, solution being boiled in that. Now they are ready to be inserted into the Black, iron, black oxide concentrate. Basically, uh, take distilled water, nine parts distilled water, one part concentrate. I do it a little bit heavier than that. And then uh, just submerge the bolts. Once again, without touching them, you don't want the oils or greases from your hands transferring onto the bare clean metal. Insert it into the black oxide concentrate. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but if you look real close, you can already start to see the blackening of uh, some of these bolt heads. Um, the reaction starts taking place instantaneously. What I have found, uh, the recommendation is about three to five minutes soak time on these. Um, I don't find that near long enough. It does give a blackened look to the bolts. However, um, I find an occasional stir every few minutes and a 15 to sometimes 20 minute soak time uh, does yield the best result on the bolts. Um, I don't get fantastic coverage. I would say it is a little bit blotchy of a coating, but after about 15, 20 minutes, I think it's pretty uniform. Uh, in this case, you can see um, there is still the some of the previous coating on some of the threads. I don't really care about that much because it is going to be covered up. Really my concern with these has been getting the bolt head nice and uniformly blackened. So I'm gonna let these sit. I'll come back every about five minutes and stir them uh, just to kind of get new sides of the metal exposed and to um, shake the solution up a little bit. And then I will remove them and give them a rinse. Okay, so time is up. Time to pull out the bolts. <clears throat> Basically, immediately after removing it from the solution, just do a quick dip as a rinse in tap water, and then dry the bolt off. As you can see, the bolt has a really nice black finish to it. Then normally what I do is I submerge the entire bolt in oil, but with a uh, brake caliber bracket bolts, I actually uh, apply some blue Loctite to them just for extra security. I've had, <laughs> I've had issues in the past with uh, them falling out from time to time. And uh, in this case, I'm just going to be dipping the head of the bolt in the oil as I don't want to contaminate the threads with the oil since I will be using the thread locker. So as I dip it in the oil there, shake it off, and then just a quick Pat dry here, and that is your completed bolt. Looks pretty nice, not great, but it's a nice little way to jazz up the uh, bolts on your car. I've been doing this to a lot of the different bolts on the suspension bolts on the car. Just give you guys a quick peek. This is the upper front control arm bolt and nut. Uh, lower control arm ball joint bolt. On the other side here. I just really think it gives a nice appearance. It's a nice contrast with this gray. It looks a lot better than a shiny silver bolt would have. But uh, yeah, just a simple little thing. It doesn't cost much. It costs about uh, $25 or so for the concentrate. I believe it was shipped. And uh, I think it was a nice little addition to the car. So thanks for watching. That's all I got for this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe down below. Uh, if you have any comments, tell me I'm doing a bad job, doing a good job. I appreciate them. 
Once again, thanks for watching. Until next time.